Yo, what's good to everybody? It's your boy, 45 Degrees, aka Pinocchio himself. Shout out Sports Scene, you know, shout out to the weekend turnout, you know, for this amazing feature, you know, deserve it. I grew up listening to different types of music, you know, Michael Jackson, even hip hop, Tupac, you know, and everything. It was my dream to make music always, but I never thought I would have like the courage to actually make music. It all started like 20, 2012, like beginning of 2012 with my boys in, in PTA, like uh, this group called Vinnie Boys. Um, so we were just like into, we were into like just dressing up, you know, going to Mr. Price. We started like shopping with like Mr. Price first, uh, sh like just vibing out, like you're taking pictures, you know, as kids, like we're still in high school. Then like grade 10, you know. Um, we started then from there, uh, we started thrifting clothes. But like most of my homies, I like, kind of got up, like, I kind of like started partying. And I got like more deeper into like the, I was just like, I love, I found something that I love and I can carry on with it. Like I just didn't know what actually like was in it. I actually, I come from like a musical family. So my mother's two brothers, two late, yeah, two late brothers, they used to like play on a band, like in Mozambique, uh, like my mom is from Mozambique, and my dad is from South Africa, he's black, yeah. So my, uh, so like my mother's family, they've been musicians, and my aunt used to be a designer. But I was never like into that as a kid, I was just like, you know, play around, play around. But, um, so when my dad, so when I moved from Mozambique to South Africa, I had to go to, um, I had to go do an assessment test. So when uh, that lady, uh, I think it was a psychologist that was doing an assessment test. So she was like, uh, draw yourself, picture yourself in the future. Uh, yeah, and I drew myself like performing. It was 2009. Yes, I was 15, 17, you know, I was just, cause I was like really, really into, I was like, I want, I'm gonna be a star. Like, fast forward to the future, you know, um, I was with this homie and he was like, yo bro, I think like you have the image, bro. Like to do this vibe, like you are the culture, you know, everything that everybody's doing is because of you. Like, yeah, you know. The lingo that they're using on their songs, it's your lingo, you get what I'm saying? The way they dress, everything is you. So it was just like, I feel like you should just do this thing because it's like, you know, and I was just like, oh man, I don't want to be that, I don't want to do that. And I was just like, let's try this homie of mine. Uh, and then I just started recording with him, you know, every day, you know, just like growing, you know, learning. And I was like, he would coach me, you know, uh, his name is Terrence, he's a tattoo artist, great tattoo artist. He was like, no man, I think you should do it, bro. And then I did like maybe for like three months without releasing anything, just like, you know, playing around. And then, ah, uh, me and him like fell short, you know, like our homies are, but like, we're still homies now. And I was just like, all right, cool, let me mise it. Okay, cool. And then fast forward, uh, I, I'm speaking to Rico, uh, my boy, he was living at Row X then. And I'm like, yo, man, I just got into the music. He's like, yo, man, you just got into the music. And I'm like, yeah, man. And my brand represents self-belief, self-love, and, and loving others, you know, just as a whole. This is a way for me to, you know, send love to the people. Because I wasn't going through that alone. I feel like the other kids were also like, what the other homie did is not fair, you know? So I was like, okay, positivity, let's do this vibe, you know, criminalize. SoundCloud came alive and everybody loved it. And I was like, oh, damn, man, everybody loves it. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a person that like, whatever everybody loves it, I gotta kind of top it up. With art, it's not really like that because what you like is what you like. What I like is what I like. You know? the lust. The lust. We started like recording like uh, Immortal Scalies, the EP, which was like, it was supposed to be a four track EP. 
uh, there was this track that didn't make a dream or what to get high, and, but, uh, quarterback, a liar, 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 it's just about, like, I speak, like, my music is about clothes, uh, clothes, clothes, because that's what I live, I can't really speak about something else at this moment, I'm gonna rap about clothes, how fly, and, and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, so, that's what I represent, and that's what I've always represented, and that's what people know me, know me for, you know, so I don't want to go speak about something that I, I'm not really there like that, you know? But yeah, that's how like I went on about uh, doing the music. That's how it started pretty much. So excited about my upcoming project. The name of my upcoming project is Pinocchio Mode. If you think about Pinocchio, it's, it's, not, oh, it's not real. Pinocchio is not real is that as a puppet pinocchio was being used the only difference between pinocchio pinocchio was a real boy wooden boy that would move without strings and then the other toys would move without strings but pinocchio was always being used but he wasn't really real but they needed him do you get what i'm saying so it's with with my tape it, it's all it's it, it almost doesn't look real that i'm making the music do you get what i'm saying but Everybody's kind of using my style, you know. Visuals is like, um, it's like actually everything that I do, you know, from the clothes, the music, um, the visuals. Um, I don't want to do, I can't go like 1%. That's never me, you know. Um, I would never be happy. That's why like I wasn't even able to drop any visual that really makes sense right now but like the visuals are definitely coming but i feel like we always have to give like our best one day i'm gonna die and only my work will be able to represent my existence you know so i don't want to be an average person you know if you look at michael jackson you're like damn if you look at Kirk, you're just like wow like these people were like insane you know and that's what I love to give. I love to give everybody my best. Even if I have to go 1%, and I know that you're 99%. Um, in the next four or five years, I would love to like have, have a solid team, you know? Um, a solid team where, where we, where we, we, we architects, you know, where we, we're getting more architects, you know, because there's more new kids every day coming in, you know, but as well as like giving them the right information, because I think a lot of people lack, you know, information, um, which leads them to a lot of confusion, you know. So like, like building this, this arc with architects, you know, that we can actually take everything like next level. I cannot lose you. I cannot lose you. I cannot lose you. I cannot lose you. My advice to any young creative now it's pretty much get a team. You can't be the best without best people around you. I am who I am because of the people that are surrounding me. It doesn't look like it, but I'm grateful for like my team. We might not be perfect. Everybody has their own faults, but you can't do it without a team. You can do it. You need people to help you, you know, to guide you. If you're gonna make music, you are gonna need your own producer, you know. I believe in kind of working with one person because like that we get to, I get to know what are your views in life, what I, I don't wanna be all over the place, but just having your team, people that believe in you, you know, being more calm, being more patient and, um, uh, and keep on striving. It's not easy for anybody, you know. Every everybody goes through uh, through pain and and, and, and and happiness. You know, it's it's a whole cycle, you know. But uh, yeah, giving up is not an option. You know, we we did not come to earth to give up. Hey, yo, 